I'm definitely a Christian myself. I definitely believe in God, absolutely. I could definitely be better about it. Definitely don't go to church as much as I should be going to church. But I can't say that I've sat down and seeked God, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess that would be my challenge to you, right? As a friend, right? Would be, hey, seek him. Honestly, I should do it. I should sit down and seek Jesus. Yeah. Key, you got a mic? Yeah. Oh, let's go. Nobody's had a mic today. So I'm happy. We're going to dominate. I hope you dominate because I've been in a blender all day today so far. Oh, your luck's about to change, my friend. <laughs> oh, let's go, Key. I'm here, dude. Are we holding hands or I assume we're holding hands? Well, you're really cute, so yeah. I'm okay, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, who's streaming? Is he actually a streamer? Okay, he's streaming. He doesn't have many viewers, but okay. Wait, chat, should we bless him? And chat, if you guys can, just go follow him. Everyone go follow him right now. No! Whoa! Everyone go, go follow baby. Him. Yo, Everyone Christian Dirtbag, thank you for the follow. Everyone go follow him. Oh my goodness. Everyone go follow Boss him. Boss Lady, thank you for the follow from Cross to, cross to Crown no, Stream. Let's go. Them. Don't tell them. Dang it. Oh, you're streaming? No, tell oh, You sold. Whoa. You don't tell them I'm streaming. Cross, you sexy beast. <laughs> You don't tell them I'm streaming. Sexy animal. Oh, I I didn't want them to tell you Whoa. I was streaming. Bro, they sold. They're selling, dude. Whoa. All right, so Key, we just have to win this game now. If you didn't notice, a lot of the names of what are you doing, dude? Uh, a lot of the names of the people in my stream have like reference to do with like Christianity and stuff, and I am a Christian. And what I kind of do is I jump into games with random people and I just kind of ask them about what they think about God and stuff like that. And if they'd be willing to share their thoughts on God, if you would be willing to, I would love to hear whether you think he's real, not real, why or why not, uh, stuff like that. For sure. I, de I mean, I de I'm definitely a Christian myself. I definitely believe in God. Absolutely. Okay. Oh, thank you, Baba. I drive around, I drive around with my Jesus cross, right so, on the dash, right on the mirror. <laughs> I love it. So a question I ask a lot of people um, who say they're Christian, what does it mean to be a Christian? What does that actually mean? That is a tough, tough, tough question, honestly. I don't know, whenever I'm down in the dumps, I would say that I, I think about like, you know, it's God's plan. Like there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. Cause I've been in some super dark places and like, you know, I just think about faith. I have keep faith tatted on me, yeah. on my left arm. Okay. I would say I would say just having faith is a big part. And never losing that faith no matter how dark things get. Okay. Faith in what? And I the reason I ask these questions is not because I don't doubt that you're a Christian or anything like that, but rather my hope is to push people to realize and understand what they actually believe because I think a lot in these days uh we will call ourselves X or Y and not really understand the like really think about it deeply and if people have thought about it deeply i want to be able to like hear about why and if they haven't too much then like i want to challenge them in that way you know what a way you know what i mean not in a not in a condemning uh -huh. way but come on like no like, like like you mean like push my christianity to another <laughs> level yeah almost like build you up right but it's not me who's necessarily I'll doing the building up but like yeah. you would be doing it i just kind of be helping guide you in that process you know what i mean yeah 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 for sure i could definitely be better about it definitely don't go to church as much as i should be going to church uh -huh. all right so i don't know much about this jesus guy who is he what, what's he all about see that's a question i couldn't answer i feel like the best of its ability I see like know. i've see like i went i went to um re when i was little religious education okay. and all of that knowledge that i absorbed when i was little kind of just didn't stick with me because it was yeah. so long ago i feel like i have an understanding of god for the most part you know okay but in terms of that like that deep meaning yeah it, it, it's lacking if that makes sense yeah so this is this is a question again not trying to condemn you in any sort of way but rather trying to push you right well um, wait wait before before you ask that you yeah. hate pickles yeah uh continue <laughs> <laughs> um so i'll start it off with this right if god's the creator of the entire universe right he knows what is best for us in our lives right would you agree with that like he would know what the best life is for us if he's the creator of the entire universe and created us right correct okay so if that's the case when was the last time 
you really spent and this is re remember a challenging question not a condemning question when was the last time you really spent time pursuing god yourself and what i mean by that is when is the last time like you read the bible you said when's the last time i read the bible yeah like when's the last time like you read your bible or like when's the last time you went to church because uh or spent like a lot of time in prayer right and not just prayer like asking asking for things but rather like seeking god and and the reason i asked that question right is because a lot of how we align our lives with the life god wants us to live is by seeking him first and that over time we will the then line, have a life that lose, starts to look a little bit more like the life he wants us to live um the last time that i read the bible i think i was in sixth grade okay how old are you now if you don't mind me asking 23. okay i'm 24. So I understand that. Huh? I'm gonna go get this. And then scab. I would say the last time I sat down in prayer was probably when um, my mother was really ill. Okay. But I can't say that I've sat down and seeked God, if that makes sense. Yeah, absolutely. And I guess that would be my challenge to you, right? As as a friend, right? Would be, hey, seek Him, right? Honestly, I honestly I should do it. I should sit down and you know. Yeah. Seek Jesus. Yeah. And yeah, that I guess that's my little encouragement, right? Like again, like not here to try to condemn and, and that's not like my hope in these conversations, right? Is to not condemn or anything like that, but rather point them to to the goodness of who God is and seek him because I'll be honest, bro, I see myself as the worst version of myself when I'm not seeking Jesus, when I'm not in the Bible, when I'm not uh pursuing him um first and when does my life most glorify god when i'm seeking jesus first and then i also find the most joy in my life when i'm seeking god first, first he's up top here. no you know what's crazy one of my best friends preaches exactly like you do mm -hmm. and you know what i'm gonna do i'm gonna I, I i forgot what they're called but she does like um what, what's the proper term like meetups and then it's just like a bunch of a group of people Almost like a Bible study type of thing. Bible study, that's the word. Uh -huh. I'm gonna go to her next Bible study. Hey, I love it. Do it, dude. What I'm gonna ask, what made you wanna uh, May find horrible. Jesus? Uh, yeah, so I was a Christian uh, growing up, but all that meant to me was I was a good kid. You know what I mean? Like I was the kid that did, did the good things. I didn't make mistakes. Like I didn't get in trouble, stuff like that, right? Um, and that's not what yeah. a Christian is about. It's this false. Th it's almost a lie that this world has told us what or um, specifically America has told us what a Christian is like. And that's not what a Christian like is, is a, a Christian is like at all. However, when I was about 19, not that I wasn't a Christian at this moment, but when I was 19, I, so I played professional soccer and I was in college at the moment. And on the first day of preseason, my sophomore year of college, I tore my labrum on my right shoulder. In. And in that moment, I had to figure out like, okay, am I, I, I remember it. there's somebody up here, but I, for the longest time, was just living in that space of just being a good kid. Uh, but I got hurt. And when I got hurt, I started asking the question of like, hey, I wanna like drink or smoke or do X, Y, and Z in order to make all the pain go away, if I'm completely honest. Uh, because I, I had all these expectations for soccer and they kind of died a little bit uh, with this injury, uh, specifically for that year. So I had to make this decision. Okay, was I going to be someone who, uh, you know, chased after girls, chased after the next tie, party, stuff like that? I hadn't done that before. But that's the stuff in that moment I wanted to like relieve all this life sucking, right? And then I remember this metaphorical tap on the shoulder where the Holy Spirit, God himself said, hey, what about me though? And I'm like, you're 100% right. What about you? I put you on the back burner for so much of my life that I need to kind of not do that anymore. Um, so I actually dropped out of school uh, and started working for a ministry for, with special needs kids for about a year. Uh, or about six months and during that six months I had someone do something what's called disciple me um, and basically what that means is, one kid right here. yeah so I had someone disciple me and teach me what it actually me meant to follow Jesus and not my life became better but I found myself in so much joy and I found so much joy in everything else because in everything else, I sought Jesus first. So I used to seek soccer as a way to give me joy and you know give me that high of like winning and all that stuff, right? Um, 
However, you there was a the, obviously that that joy can be stripped away from you in many different ways, right? So instead of right. looking towards things as like, hey, this is my source of joy, Ooh. rather I can find joy in the source of the creator, God himself, right? And then out of that, I can look at everything in the lens of, okay, so now I already have my joy, right? Nobody can nobody can take my joy away, no matter what happens, right? I don't know if that all makes sense, but I saw it. No, yeah, it makes 100%. I saw joy in the things of this world. Of I saw joy in things of this world, and it, dude, the things of this world fail me and fail us every single time. Um, I saw the dude, joy in girls. this truck is overpowered. Stuff. Really? Kill him. Oh, I love that. I love that play. I love that play. Yeah, no, shooting? I 100% hear, hear what you're saying, yeah. I was just curious because um, most people, I feel like it's either from something like that or substance abuse, if that makes sense, or just naturally, you know what I'm saying? Since I started streaming, I've had a lot of people ask me really difficult questions of like, hey, why do you believe X, Y, and Z? Or like, hey, this is wrong because of X, Y, and Z. And there's been a lot of difficult questions that I've had to answer. And every single time I've sought the answer. So like, there's that emotional thing, right? And then now from a logical standpoint, I've sought the answer of all the questions people ask. And it seems as if Christianity historically is true. The Bible is historically reliable and that it is actually a rational and logical position to be a Christian and follow Jesus because it seems through the evidence that he really did live he really did die on a cross and he really did resurrect from the dead. Um, and if those th three things are true, then the man said, I'm going to die and resurrect from the dead three days later. The man died and resurrected from the dead three days later, right? Like, I'm going to I'm gonna give him my entire life. You know what I mean? Oh, they're in there. I got a plate. Oh, I'm getting shot from my left, too. No, dude. No, dude. No, dude. No, dude. No, 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 no. Oh, Inside? there's two in. There's two in, dude. Dude, the baddies. That's just no. so unfortunate, dude. So unfortunate. Dude, hey, geez, bro. I appreciate dude. you. What were you going to say? No, I was going to say it was just good playing with you. Love talking to you, bro. God bless you, dude. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, God bless you as well. Thank you. Absolutely, dude.